Last year, federal legislation in Ohio removed hemp from the list of federally controlled substances. The low THC version of the cannabis plant is now treated like other agricultural crops. But now there are questions over how it will be enforced. Here's 27 First News reporter Keely Lovern. On Tuesday, Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost announced a major marijuana trafficking grant program. That's to assist law enforcement in differentiating between hemp and marijuana. Marijuana traffickers are not welcome in Ohio. Senate Bill 57 changed the Ohio Revised Code definition of marijuana to exclude hemp. It will now be defined as cannabis containing no more than 0.3% of THC. With this change, marijuana cannot be identified only by older ways of testing, like microscopic examination or chemical color testing. A prosecutor not only has to prove that the uh, contraband has THC in it, but has to show the amount of THC, because it's more than three hundredths of one percent, then it's marijuana, which is illegal. If it's less than three hundredths of one percent, uh, it is hemp, which is perfectly legal. This program will provide $50,000 in funding for local law enforcement agencies to be able to have large quantities of marijuana tested in special labs that will be able to test specifically for levels of THC. The real issue is not the guy that's got a little baggie uh, in the dashboard of his car or in the stash box at home. The real problem is the traffickers. Locally, authorities are working with the state to better understand these new laws. We are coordinating some training for our deputy sheriffs that are on patrol so that when they run into hemp compared to marijuana, that, we know, that we're positive on how to push it through the courts. But Youngstown City Law Director Jeff Limbian says this won't change how they prosecute drug charges. If you have legal marijuana products, you're going to be fine. If you have illegal marijuana products, you're, and you think that you're going to circumvent the law because of the confusion between hemp and marijuana and what has THC and what doesn't, you're still going to have a problem. Attorney General Yo says BCI is currently validating instruments, developing methods, and creating procedures for this new testing of THC, and they say it should be ready to receive evidence by early next year. In Youngstown, Keeley Lover and WKVN 27 First News.